I lost some footage again. Uh, this happened recently, now it's happened again. But anyway, my throat is dead, and I'm sorry, but... Superorganism are an indie pop band. They are quite experimental, they're a little eccentric, and there are many, many members in this band. Japanese members, Australian members, fuck, this is just like everything ever in one band. <laughs> They're an indie pop band, as I've said. Uh, they mix elements of electronic, psychedelic, um, just weird twee type pop music as well. It's a very interesting blend of music that I'm quite happy that has come together because this is a really solid album. I wouldn't necessarily say I have that many flaws with it. It's just there are some moments with the vocals that feel a little bit too familiar to like early 2000s like indie music or even to the late 2000s as well like musically we're getting elements of like Animal Collective at points we're getting elements of like Dan Deacon's uh, weird electronic like uh, music that he's done and vocally I do feel like we're getting pretty much a mix of most of the female fronted um, members from uh, like the uh, mid 2000s as I've said any indie band pick out any indie band with a female vocalist and it could really be placed in superorganism. Now there are parts of her that do feel very like J-pop inspired uh, and a bit of K-pop inspiration too and also like Caro Caro Bonito. There is that bit of like playfulness, childishness going on with her vocals that you do get in that style of music which I like. I think it adds a unique flavour to this. Also reminding me at points of like Deerhoof. But as I've mentioned, plenty of different bands and styles of music already in the first opening segment of this review. That's where I'm coming from when I say familiarity, because as good as the music is, it just does feel a little familiar. But in a good way, though, it's like a blend of genres that are coming together and done so well. And some of the songs are incredibly catchy. They're weird, otherworldly type stuff that feels a little, like... Hard to describe, but when you hear it, you know you're hearing something that's going to be very different to most other albums that come out this year. And that's definitely due to the fact that we have all of these different, like, continents coming together and essentially just making an album. It's a very internet age type album. You would only get this type of thing in the world where a band like Brockhampton can come together where they've all met, you know, the very different people, they've all met online, come together and just made music. It's that kind of feel to it, I think. As I've said, there's some incredibly catchy songs on here, like Everybody Wants To Be Famous. I love how her voice just stays pretty much in this monotone delivery the whole way through, but yeah, it still is just an absolute earworm. Everybody wants to be famous. It's the kind of song I feel like you'd hear in an advert. I don't know why, but it just feels like it's got that sort of thing going for it. The opening track is incredibly bombastic with the chorus. Um, just the instrumentation just elevates up and gets louder and the vocals like, It's all good. It's a very promising start to the album. I mean, you're gonna be hooked in for the 30 minute runtime, very short runtime, that it is once you've heard this track. Something on your mind has this really bouncy and weird beat to it. That does remind me of Animal Collective, as I mentioned already. Something from their latest album, actually, I would say. And the eccentricities don't really stop there. I mean, every track has this just weird inflection going on in some area, whether, whether it be the, the instrument playing, whether it be in the vocals, whether it be in like the drum patterns. There's just all these little eccentricities that I appreciate throughout. It's just occasionally it just feels like weird for being weird. Like that kind of like, I'm so random, uh, lol, xd. Like, like I said, it's a very internet album. There are some moments that just feel a little bit too internet. Like, like you just want to take, your, you take yourself away from it and just get back into reality for a moment. But then you go back into the album and you're actually like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of having fun. I'd say the one track where the uh, experimentation messes up completely is the track Relax. This is the second to last track. It's only one track though, but bear in mind, you know, I'm only really um, critiquing one song, but the, just the instrumentation on this is so just, it just sounds bad. Like it's, it doesn't gel, nothing gels on this track. It's like bow, 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 and the vocals don't mix in with the beat. It's just a very 
odd song that I think uh, was necessary for them to kind of um, go out of their creative peak, I guess, like sort of branch out, change up things a little bit to just sort of see what they can do with their ideas. It was necessary, but it's just one of those moments that just doesn't work really. Other than that, it's a fun album. It's weird, odd, everything that you kind of want in, um, in an album in 2018 if you're kind of bored of what you've already heard before. You know, a lot of pop music sounds similar these days, a lot of indie pop music is running out of ideas especially indie pop actually it's 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 getting it's getting it's getting tedious it really is but super organism brings something different here which i appreciate a lot i really like this album i feel like i'm going to return to a lot of the tracks so much for the rest of the year um especially like uh, the first few songs um that they're, they're particularly great and yeah i like this this is definitely a b a b b b let me know your thoughts on this album if you have heard it uh, go listen to it if you haven't heard it. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews uh, and have a good day.